was born and raised in Little Rock. I am the youngest out of my siblings. I have an older brother, an older sister, and then myself. We knew my grandmother on my mom's side, but not on my dad's side because she had passed away from cancer. Cancer has always kind of been in the family somewhere. We found out that my Aunt Peggy, who lived in Memphis, um, had been diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. When I was in the eighth grade, my Aunt Peggy passed away. Peggy was larger than life. At her funeral, everybody had a story. They'd laugh until they cried or then cry until they laughed. And it was, um, it was, it was really hard. We found out that my Aunt Beanie had ovarian cancer also. It's like, okay, there's clearly some kind of family connection here. I had my daughters. It was even more prescient in my head. Like, okay, you want to be here for the whole thing. I think I heard in high school that there was a test that could tell you if you had this genetic mutation that makes you more likely to have breast or ovarian cancer. And so I started doing a lot of family tree research. These aunts are my dad's sisters. And so I'm thinking, you know what, this is, this is a woman's disease. Breast cancer, ovarian cancer, all of this, you're not going to get it if you're a guy. I'm most likely not going to have this from my dad. My parents called my siblings and I all over to their house and told us, okay, dad's been diagnosed with prostate cancer. I talked to my doctor. I said, this is the family history. Is there a way I can get tested? I remember going in, getting my blood drawn, and then she came in and was like, okay, we need to talk. And found out that I was BRCA1 positive. I told her, I said, oh, my dad just told me that he's been diagnosed with prostate cancer. And she's like, well, that's how it manifests in men. <laughs> it does not discriminate between men or women. If it's there, it's there. It has been a relief to know that this is what's going on. Knowing that I am doing what I can, it makes me feel more confident and more secure that I'm not leaving things up to chance. Yes, you're back on positive. Here are the things you can do and here are these great people who are gonna help take care of you.